This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. Hopefully you are all all right. How are you doing? That big old stick up there, I don't know if you can see it, it's beyond the trees now, but that means we're close to memory. <laughs> um, and memory is where we're actually picking up today. So today, uh, today could be interesting, or it could be boring, we're not sure yet. We've got to go pick up an event trailer. An event trailer. Um, inside said event trailer should be arena seating. We're actually going to a place called arena seating so i'm not i'm not sure whether it's actually arena seating in the trailer not sure <laughs> um but all i know is i've got to pick up this trailer from here take it to another place i'll tell you in a second where it's got to go because i can't remember it's sort of around the other side of the m25 slightly in um, and then we've got to stay with the trailer whilst it's offloaded um, they might put some other stuff back on it and then we bring the trailer back uh, but apparently they got to assemble something whilst I'm there, so um, yeah, we could be there for a few hours, could be there all day, could be there for an hour, got no idea how long we're going to be there for. Um, but it could be interesting nonetheless. We've got to go to, uh, I can remember the place, it was Red, Red something Sports Centre. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're going somewhere for something, that's all I can tell you at the moment. Lack of information. But uh, we're just around the corner from where we need to be. I've never actually collected from here before, so we um, we need to be careful what we film. I don't know why I'm allowed, what I'm not allowed to film. But I'll uh, I'll try and get the the truck and the uh, trailer on camera, but maybe not film so much inside, just in case. Turn right here. Yeah, we're going to. Um, I think it was Red Red Bridge Sports Centre or something like that. Right. Question is, what entrance do we go in to get the trailer? Because I don't know. I think it's it's in here. And then maybe round here? I'm not sure. We've got a buzzer here, mind you. Right. This is not a buzzer, this is just a passcode. Right, I don't know where we're going. I'm just going to have a look down here a second on the other side. Because I can see some trucks down there. And uh, I just want to see if I can get in that side or not. I think I can open these gates. Ugh. 
yes, it looked like they are expecting me. Well, I hope anyway, I was breaking an entry. <laughs> right, we want trailer GJB31. So that's what we're trying to find now. Oh, there we go, look, it's right there. GJB31. GJB31. Yeah, that's that's the one. They might still be loading it. Right, before I actually hitch up to it, I'm just going to uh, get out and uh, have a walk behind and just double check there's no one inside. Here we go. So this is it. This is what's inside. So, there's stuff inside. There's no one loading it. It's currently 7.29. I was told to pick up at 7.30. So I am gonna hitch up to it. Time I hitched up, it's half past seven. I'm gonna go forward, close the doors, and I'm gonna go. <laughs> um, and then I've just gotta drop it off at the same bay when I get back. <laughs> right, let's get on underneath it. I'm glad I come in this way now and didn't just wait at the gate, <laughs> using my initiative. Tug test. That's why we do a tug test. We weren't actually under it properly. Right. Let's do some trickery with the suspension and try and help us out a bit. I just lowered it ever so slightly and normally that works. Yeah. Tug test, we're on. That's why you do a tug test, because it felt like I was on, but I wasn't. Suspension back up. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're hitched up. One thing to bear in mind whenever we'll hitched up to a new trailer, just double check the height so we know what we're running at, 4.2. Obviously, all trailers run at different heights, so always got to be careful. We'll check the lights in a minute, but they look like they're all on that. Got to wind the legs up now. Right, legs are up. I'm trying to find the trailer brake. Where is it? It's never ever in the same place on every trailer. Normally it's by the legs, but quite often we'll find it somewhere else. It's not there, so it must be on the other side. Here we go, look. It's always somewhere different. Make sure that's pushed in. Push it out. Push it in. That's my test. I'll just make sure the trailer brake works. That's on. That's on. Right, we're going to pull forward now so we can close the doors. Yeah, we're just going to pull forward and go at a slight angle so we can close the doors and do some uh, checks on the trailer. Turn the hazards on. Got to check all the lights are working, you see. Should be enough. The trailer's taking all my air out of my truck. <laughs> right. Okay, there we go. Lights are on, number plates on. We've got a tail lift, but we don't have an Anderson cable, so I don't know. I'm gonna have to jump in and, and handball it all off anyway, so nothing on pallets. <laughs> See us. Just double check the trailer number while we're here. Okay, we're done. Trailer is hooked up. 
everything is checked. I am happy with everything. Wow, well, actually, there's only one thing I'm ever so slightly not happy about, and that's the number plate. My number plate is slightly too big for the holder, so I've sort of just had to wedge it in, and I will keep an eye on it, and hopefully it don't fall off. <laughs> so the number plate I got, so it's gonna have to go on like that. Ah, because this isn't my truck, I've got no tools with me, no cable ties or anything like that, so it's gonna have to do. Right, I'm glad I come in this way. I saw these trucks were parked here. I was just like, yeah, yeah, I'll come in this way. Now, I am a great believer of leaving things how you found them. Which means, I've got to close those gates back up. Okay, now we're good to go. Get in there. <laughs> I'm going to take my high vis off though. <sighs> yeah, I know that way out. That's good. That's fine. The quickest way here from Swindon is to go the back roads. Um, but to get onto the M4, from here, the quickest way is to continue taking that road we were on uh, and go to Hungerford Junction, which is Junction, uh, blah, 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 was it? We're turning right here anyway. Car coming now. Junction 14. Turn right, then turn left, then turn right. Yeah, so on board we have like a basically arena seating. It's not even a full trailer. It's the length of the trailer, but not like stacked up high or anything. Um, and it's secured down uh, at like lashing points throughout the trailer. So uh, I'm not worried about it, it going anywhere. Plus I'm in a box trailer anyway, so if I tip on my side, it's not gonna, not gonna fall out. Uh, the only concern I have at the moment is that um, there's a tail lift on this trailer, like I said, and uh, I'm not sure if they want to use the tail lift or not. So it could be an issue. Uh, just waiting to hear back from the boss. So I can turn around if need be. I'll have to go down to Hungerford and spin around at the roundabout and come back if need be. Because I've got nowhere to turn around here. that car went now I might have been able to stop in there but I think it's someone's driving it or something potentially makes me laugh seeing this here because <laughs> I reckon some people have gone straight straight on through this in the past anyway I've heard back from the boss uh, we are good to go they do not need the uh, tail lift so um, well apparently the tail lift is also broke but that's <laughs> they don't need it anyway um, which is what I thought I don't think they would have needed it because it all needs to be handballed off and so I imagine there's going to be one or two people inside the trailer, and then one or two outside the trailer, I would imagine, just uh, taking it all off. They, then they set it all up, and then I've got to wait for some stuff to potentially come back, and then drop the trailer on the same bay I picked it up from. So yes, we're good to go. I was going to spin around at this roundabout if need be, but uh, yeah, we're good to go. So we're going to get on the motorway now, we're going to put the shades on, we're going to listen to some music. <laughs> And uh, I'll see you in a little bit while, see you in a bit. Okay, we are a mile away now from where we need to be. Now, we, the place we're delivering to, we're in Ilford, by the way. The place we're delivering to looks like it has two separate entrances to get into the car parks. One entrance is what looks like down a housing estate and is in between two houses. Looks like I could get in it that way, if I'm honest. Um, but the other way looks like it's more accessible. Um, so we're going to go the other way. The other way is just beneath or just before a low bridge. The low bridge is uh, 4.2 meters, so we should be able to actually go straight through it if for whatever reason we can't make the turn. So it's a good job we are to 4.2 meters and we know our height because if we were more than 4, to, four if we were more, sorry I can't get my words out, if we were more than 4.2 meters in height and we went the way I'm going to go but we couldn't make the turn, we'd be stuffed I think. But 
we should, in theory, be okay. Uh, we've just got to go down here, go over a roundabout, and then take a left turn into the sports centre. Yes, there looks like there is a train station as well, uh, right next to where we are, called Fairlop. Fairlop train station. Looking at the um, Google satellite imagery of where we're delivering to, um, obviously we're delivering to a sports centre, uh, but it looks like there's also a tennis club next door as well. Um, and you can see as well on, on Google Earth that there's like loads of football pitches. So I guess there's some competition, football or tennis is what I'm going to guess. And uh, the arena seating is for a grandstand or something, I'm going to assume. Not a massive one but uh, some seating. Might not even be a grandstand, might just be seating on the floor or something. <laughs> right. We're gonna need the other side of the road to make the corner. Hundred percent we're gonna need the other side of the road. Let's wait for this last car to come down. Is that height barrier thing up? No, it's been taken down. Okay, good sign. I mean, there's a height barrier here, look, it's been opened up. It was the same for the other side. 2.1 meters it was. Right, the question is now, where do we go? This is the sports centre. I can't imagine we're going to be going anywhere here. We've got room. I might go in there and spin round so I can get out if I need to. There's also a lot of car park a uh, lot of car park space down here look, as well. I am going to go further on down because there's fields to the left of me and fields straight on down. And if it's going to be anywhere, I think it's going to be in a field. Let that car come down first. There's another lorry there I can see. The car's going in there. Okay. There's a man there, is he putting his hand up at me at all? No. Where are we going then? That's going to take me straight back out the entrance, which we don't want to be doing. If I come down here, can I get between that gap? Oh, that's going to be tight. See if I can get between this gap and then I can spin around in here. There's another lorry in here, so it should be all right. Yeah, we're through. At least now we're in the open. We've got plenty of space here. I'm just looking. I can't see anyone. That's a funeral car. Nice. Rest in peace. <sighs> yeah, so I think I might just have to wait here for a little bit. Hi Ian, you're right, mate. I've got the uh, arena seat and stuff. I've just got it. I just wanted to let you know. Oh, I'm brilliant. 
Uh, we're about uh, an hour away, roughly. All right, mate. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. So you're the trucker, are you? Yeah, mate. That's it. Oh yeah, we're, we're about an hour away because we can't get in there till twelve. So uh, I suppose just sit tight and. Uh, yeah. Have yourself a coffee or whatever and hang on. No worries. What I've done is I've come in via the low bridge. I've gone all the way to the back and I'm sort of uh, where it says Jack Carter Pavilion. There's like a massive area here. So I'm out of the way of everyone. Yeah. So just thought I'd let you know. Oh, perfect. All right. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, yeah, we'll work out where we need you and what have you. And, uh, yeah. Get you accordingly. Yeah. All right, mate. No worries. I'll see you in about an hour then. Brilliant. Cheers, Ch out. Catch you in a bit. Bye-bye. Thanks. -bye. Right. They're an hour away. <laughs> we're, we're here, and they're an hour away. Cool, right. I kind of wish I bought my drone, because I could have got some drone footage. Never mind. Um, so yeah, we uh, just chill out now. Put on brake. Lovely. Right, okay, yeah. Right where it says indoor arena, there's double doors. They want me to back onto that somehow. Let's go and have a look. First, we've got to get out of the car park and into that one. Okay. Right now, I'm, yeah, there's no way I'm going to get in there with those two red, uh, the red car and the Volkswagen, not Volkswagen, Vauxhall, no way. Well, we're getting anyway. Uh, I don't think I'm going to make this turn either. I think I can get in via this entrance if I come in from the other direction. which means spinning it around. Yeah, if I come in from this direction, I should be able to get in there. How much room is here on the right? There was quite a bit of room here earlier. Lovely. So we're just gonna reverse into here, spin around. Get the right angle. Lovely. Now we can go. Yeah, and now we can get into this car park from this entrance, is a bit wider. Hopefully the tail swing don't come out too much, otherwise this post is gonna get it. It's a bit of a squeeze, but we should make it. We're gonna have to go on the curb to get in. We've got Kurt, um, a bollard on the left as well. So, anyway, we're in the car park. I think I'm gonna have to spin around and blind it in, I think. I don't think I'm gonna have enough room here. I'll give it a go at least. Oh yeah, we should be alright. Because we've got this here, look. There's a leeway. Yeah, we can get it in.
progress on back. Just got to get a slightly adjust the angle a little bit because the red car there. I hate it when people make loud noises all of a sudden because I think I've hit something. trailer yeah need to just get a slightly different angle the guy now he's watching me back lovely right we're in cool right uh, I'm not gonna put on brake just yet because I think I got to open the doors at least so we'll go do that see you in a bit just want to give a quick shout out to the essential new truckers handbook by Malcolm Green it is a book absolutely rammed with information regarding anything HGV related. I don't care whether you're new in the industry, whether you've been in the industry for five years like myself, or whether you are an, a veteran in the HGV world and you've done more miles in reverse than I've done forward, there is something in this book that will benefit you, I absolutely promise you. It, we're talking taco rules and regulations, how to strap a load, how to hitch up to a trailer, uh, and also how to even get your HGV license in the first place. Everything that you need to know is in this book. I promise you, you won't regret it. Link is in the description down below if you are interested. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Anyway, enjoy the video. So we come down here and it sort of went over there a little bit to the right. I don't want to film because there's a driver there. Wait for the driver to get out of the way. So we sort of went on down there. And it's like a dead end sort of little car park there, but we managed to use that space and utilize that to then reverse back into uh, into where we are now. Getting out could be tricky. Might be easy actually because we might just be able to go around here, take a nice wide turn get around these cars but we'll see when we actually leave we yeah we're in there for now looks to me like it's uh some sort of uh, gymnastics gymnastics competition going on thought i'd come and take a seat up here look see what the crack is yeah, it looks like a uh, gymnastics look. And they're building, they're building equipment down there. That's why I just delivered. Yeah. London 25. I mean, we are 10 years out, but <laughs> close enough. What a cock. 
And then yeah, the one, the one I just did was going to set up there apparently. Also apparently it's a brand new floor. Places like this is just being nosy. <laughs> I would literally just walk around and be nosy at everything. Nice chairs in there, look. Tennis courts. Yes. That's cool. Look, the building behind me. It's quite sunny. It's got solar panels on the side. Very modern. But yeah. I would literally just walk around. They're going to be at least an hour, I reckon, unloading. So. I'm just walking around the grounds and being nosy, why not? Don't mind me, just watching a uh, imaginary tennis match. 13, love. No, it's 15, love, isn't it? Oh, I messed that up. <laughs> 13, 15, love, then 30, love, then 45, love, isn't it? What's the difference between the green pitch and the brown pitch? Probably no difference at all. Train station, train station over. All right, let's go and have another look. It's only breaking an entry if it's locked, right? Yeah, it's locked. another way in. It's where the judges sit, I suppose. What about this one? Is this one locked? Oh, yeah. Found the toilets. So, um, yeah, been in now for about two hours in total. Yeah, got a nice day. Nice and sunny out. Just chilling out on a bench at the moment. There's the lorry there, look, being tipped. And, uh, yeah. Be happy here. I'll be happy here for another, another couple of hours, to be honest. <laughs> I, could, I could be doing revision right now, uh, transfer manager CPC, but it's just a nice day. And I just want to be outside. To be honest with you, I sat down. If it was like raining, I'd definitely be inside, realising. So I doubt myself anyway. <laughs> hey, I got a year. I got a year. No rush. So that's what we're looking like so far inside. Slowly coming together. Lovely. I'm just chilling. Nice easy day. I'll tell you what I have figured out. Gymnastics mats are proper soft. Very soft. They're like mattresses. There you go, it's getting bigger. So this is the seating. I think they've got to put the, the sides on either side still and then something on the back. It looks nearly done, to be honest with you. Can't imagine there's much more left to be done. Although I just went looking and can't find any of them. <laughs> they might be having a quick break. So 
So the car that was parked right there is left now, so I should be able to get out quite easy. Some bloke just said something about moving some new some things, and the only thing I can think of is these things here. So, move those two, should give me a much more room to get out, and then sort of head down there. If we just, uh, just move these two new things, I think that's what you call them. Time now is two o'clock. So, I think we got here. What time did we get here? Quarter past ten, wasn't it, I think? I think it was quarter past ten. Yeah, quarter past ten we got here. I just checked the message I sent my boss when I got here. Um, so, nearly four hours. <laughs> um, but, I'm, I'm starting to get bored now, I must admit. <laughs> I am now starting to get a bit bored. Uh, Oh, and they are now having a break. They're sat down on the um, on the benches having a break, which is fair enough. They've uh, they've been working hard for the last two three hours, so you've got to have a little break in here. But they look like they're nearly done, so it's just a case of finishing it off, and then I can get going. Yes, I do hope we don't get a charge. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's quite cheap. Up to six hours, two pounds. That's what we're on at the moment. Anything. So hopefully we don't get a hundred pound charge. <laughs> okay, it's just gone uh, a quarter past three now, so it's five hours we've been here. Um, I think they're putting stuff back in the back of the trailer, so um, looks like we are finishing up. We we'll heading back to uh, to Hungerford. Let's go have a look inside, see what it looks like. So yeah, they got the side rails on now, the back pieces as well. Looks like it's good to go. They still need to sort out the clock though. I don't... Oh, that's weird. You can't even see what time it is on that one. In real life, it says 15.19. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was weird. Looks like you've got to get the camera just right. Or is it where I was standing? <laughs> Right, we're done. Just uh, one last picture. So that was what was inside the trailer. We're now done. The boys are off. <laughs> I've been hanging around for them. As soon as they're done, they're gone. Right, we're gonna jump in and go. Right. Is he, uh, is he talking to me? <laughs> well, let's see if we can get out of here. I think he's moved some stuff around for us so we can get out a bit easier. Looks like it. Should be able to get around like this. And yeah, he's taken a couple of uh, the corner posts out, I think. It's still going to be a little bit tight. Where's that barrier? That barrier is very close, it's where it is. And there we go, made it. <laughs> it was very tight. Right, out the way we come in. The time is 20 to four. So yeah, been here a while. What's that, five and a half hours? Before we do fully go, I just need to message my boss to say we're leaving, so he knows what time we got here, and what time we left. Just going to send that message while we're parked up here for a sec. At least then vehicles can get past me. Right, let's send the text now. There we go, leave us like now, 15.40, 5 hours, 25 minutes total. Cool, we're done. Let's crack on. So, 
It's a two and a half hour drive back to where we've got to drop this trailer off. So we're going to be dropping it off around about quarter past six. That's on the, that's on the assumption that um, we don't get held in track anywhere. I don't see any risk. So we drop the trailer and get home, it should be about seven o'clock, I think. Back to the yard, I mean. Right, none of these are going to give way to me, are they? None of these vehicles. You think I can get around that gap? Dickhead. That's too small. People are stupid. Come on. I'm in a bloody lorry. Right, this car's let her be through, but she's gonna find out the hard way that she's not left me a lot of space. So frustrating when people think they've given you enough room, but they haven't. They just have absolutely zero clue it's annoying because, yeah, they're being kind, but it just goes to show how uneducated they are, like, with regards to how much room lorries need. And that's why I think you should have more, more tests or something on your driving lessons just to show how much room you need to give larger vehicles because I couldn't get out. <laughs> People were, like, stopping to let me out. One of them was ridiculously tight. That one we did in the end, I, I just did it because I knew she could move out of the way, but... Ah, oh, so, so annoying. So annoying. And then you got one of the car drivers put their hand up because they're like, oh, I just stopped for you and you didn't go. Like, you're a twat. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're a twat. <laughs> anyway, let's get out of here been sat around for too long getting grumpy <laughs> I don't like sitting around I was uh, I'll be honest I wasn't expecting it to take this long I was hoping the, well when I when I got here and the bloke started taking stuff out the back he goes yeah we'll have it out in an hour and then it took like five or four hours to build <laughs> so never mind anyway we're heading back to uh, to Hungford now I'll see you when we get a little bit closer We've been told to drop it off in a different area as well. So remember this morning we went to the different gate to begin with and they had to put a passcode in. Well, I've been given the passcode. So uh, we're going to take it in that way. Yes. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, you join me two hours, 15 minutes later. Is that a lorry coming around the corner? Let's slow down a bit so we don't hit. There we go. Yeah, two hours, 15 minutes later, you join me. Uh, I think I'm a little bit dark on the GoPro. I bought, um, when I bought these new GoPros, I bought uh, LED lights to go on the top. There we go. You should be able to see me a lot better now. And I can still see out as well. Happy days. Yeah, so we've got to drop this on to Bay 6, I believe. I think that's what the message said. Bay 6. Uh, and I think we've got to go in the different way this time as well. Lovely. Window down so we can concentrate. Yeah, it's down here that you can get into the um, services, I think. Now, I believe we want to go in this way. 
We've been given a code. Let's see if the code actually works. Oh, it's working. It's working. I think we've got to put it in again for the barrier. You're going to tell me you're not working, aren't you? Oh, it's a bit tight down here. I've got to get out and put this one in. Oh, we're going up. We're going up. Lovely. Okay, here we are. I've risen, risen the suspension a little bit already. First thing we're going to do is put the trailer brake on. So we know the trailer's not going to roll away. Let's go grab our number plate. There we go. So next thing we do is put the legs down. Here's the legs. Okay, legs are down. Now we've got to go do our airlines. Disconnect them. Okay, airlines are now taking off. And safely stowed away. We can now uh, close that fender back up. Go back round the other side now. Let's do uh, three more things. Firstly, Put the number plate away. And then under here, you can't see, but I've taken the dog clip off. Like so. And then undo the fifth wheel like that. And we're good to drive away. I load the suspension before I drive off. And we're just uh, roll on out of here. This might not work, but we will give it a go. Open. Open. You're not opening. Why aren't you opening? It's not, it's not working. Is that one working? Why are they not working? Am I stuck in here? Oh, this could be a problem. Come on. Oh, I've got that one working. I need this one to work now. Hey, wait, those gates are going to close before I get this one up. Oh, it's on. Oh, it's on. It's on. Run, 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 run. Don't close, don't close, don't close, don't close. Don't close, don't close, don't close. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> we made it. 
Oh, I actually thought I was going to be stuck there for a while. <laughs> Put my phone away. Seatbelt on. <sighs> right, I'm going to crack on back to the yard. I will see you when we get there. Hopefully I'll be hitched up, ready to go. Lovely jubbly. See you in a bit. Been a good day. Been, uh, like I said in my last video, it was either going to be exciting or boring. I think it was pretty much a in between the two, <laughs> uh, to be perfectly honest with you. But yeah, so we are done for the day. I'm now going to head home and uh, do it all again in the morning. So thanks for watching everyone. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. Don't forget to check out my hoodies. I will see you soon. Hiss at me. See you later everyone. Bye bye.